Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Scarlet Nexus and we're currently in Phase 12. We're learning a little bit about uh, Karin and Fubuki's backstory with Alice Ichijo. And uh, I feel like, uh, well, we're pretty close to the end. I don't know how close exactly, but I know that we're close. Now we kind of rushed through this area last time, so I kind of need to check out some of these offshoots real quick. Is there only the one? Okay, there's two different ones. Some help, Luca! Okay, can't pick that one up right now. Hmm, I might want to buy some more medium alls. It's looking like, uh, to, uh, not to get so, Seiron. Oh, no. Do you need help? I need your help! Didn't realize that was still active. Oh, you bastard. Damn it. Completely fucked me there. Don't get caught. Here we go. 
Okay. Big fight. And man, you are getting some work in today, my friend. The archivist is all over the place. I'm impressed. Oh, we've almost made it to the bottom of our save list. They gave you a lot of save slots. You know I like that in games. Don't get too close to that other. You'll get caught in its explosion. I must try more. Weapon attack specialization. Oh, cool. I don't think we ever got that one. I hate how when you first activate that, it doesn't work. It's really annoying. Bullshit. Trigger on those? That's dumb. Do this. All right. 
Those are my least favorite enemies. Okay, Memories of Rebellion. Did we even get a scene in this area? I don't think we did. Huh. Maybe we did and I just don't remember it. But, Memories of Pursuit. We didn't have like an actual scene, did we? Maybe I'm just forgetting it from the last episode. I recorded it a whole day ago. Who's supposed to remember this stuff, huh? Okay, it's giving me, it gave me a parallelization. Huh, interesting. So I could go back. Can I go back to the hideout? No, no, no. I don't. I don't think I actually want to. But I think we actually can. So maybe I could go back to the hideout and give some of these parallelizations to people. Okay, this was inside of Togetsu, wasn't it? Hey, it turned invisible too. We have Sagumi, so it's no big deal. I was fully expecting there to be another group. Cool. Here, here, too. Come on. This other 
creates dummies. We need to attack the real ones, so observe carefully. Now done! Cool, that one uh, worked in a uh, AOE. That one was different. That's the first time we've run into one of them who's done that. Who's uh, basically done the little splitting mechanic. <laughs> Holy shit, 18? Damn! Okay. Charge attacks, knock down enemies from psychokinesis. Can perform five consecutive weapon attacks. We only need the four for the uh, special ability like that we got from Hanabi. So I don't know if we really need to fight for that one. Kind of want that. I mean, that's pretty good, actually. So you can get a free brain field while in brain drive. I don't know if I'll be, like... If I pay attention close enough, I'll, I'll be able to pop that once or twice. Okay, we've gotten pretty far on this entire tree, to be honest with you. Okay, so when this is active... Three, four, and then you mash. So basically, if you just mash square, you're eventually going to get to that combo. Cool. Just mash square and you can do that. <laughs>
Don Pickles. Eight. Which one was it that we got gifted? We got gifted one of these Don Pickles. Those are the covers for eight and nine, apparently. I think we got, I think we got eight. <laughs> one. They're both blue, so uh, sometimes it gets me. Key card number, question mark. Okay, probably need that for our exclamation Don't point area. an item I left behind. Yep. Let me use your power. It's locked and won't open. How can we get past this? <laughs> Seems like your knowledge of my power. Already did it, my man. Shallow. I'm way ahead device. of you. Electrokinesis to apply high voltage, it should be easy. Way, way ahead of you. <laughs> so, you need help? Oh, I guess I don't need that for that one. Memories of Nightmare. Okay, so all of these don't have uh, memories then. Memories of Nightmare. Okay, sounds ominous. This looks like, this is where Naomi got. Are we going to find out that one of them, honestly, I still think it might be Fubuki who shot her. He did say he was uh, the OSF's dog at one point. I wouldn't be surprised if he had orders to shoot her. Now, he wasn't wearing the same gloves as what we saw in the little cutscene, but that could have been just a misdirect. We might be about to see a scene of him shooting her. Maybe. Ah. <sighs> Apparently, the extinction belt has dropped near the surface. This has never happened before. With all these others around, this is turning out to be a tough mission.
What? Now, is she about to get got? <gasps> those particles she just turned into one so something similar happened to her that happened to Naomi Alice no Alice is that you Alice morphed into another after coming into contact with the Extinction Belt. I had no idea the Extinction Belt could drop that low and close to the surface. I've heard that it's a rare occurrence. I've never seen it drop that low myself. Hey, notice anything about that other? Yes. She was one of the ones who helped us fight alongside Naomi. I see. So that other really was her. So that happened in Kasane's walkthrough. I feel like more happens in Kasane's walkthrough. I wonder if maybe that's the first one we should have played. It seems like she gets a lot more of the... I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it feels the exact same way if you do it the other way around. Maybe by the end you're like, man, a lot of stuff was going on with Yuidos. Let me know in the comments. If you started with Kasane's when you got to this point in the game, like, how were you feeling about that? Did you, did you kind of feel that... Uh, you were missing, like, you were, were you saying the same thing I'm saying right now? Like, man, a lot happened on, Kasa on Yuido's side that I missed. I mean, it's probably designed that way, so you play both, which we are going to play both, but damn. Um, so they fought that other. No, wait, did they say it helped them alongside Naomi? Like, Naomi was, helped them at some point, but we don't know if she was still an other or what, so like... There are pieces that are completely missing for me. Um, and they didn't really fill in the blanks very well. Did you guys meet Aunt so Alice? I don't know. I think she's supposed to be in Ceyron's laboratory. We just figured it out now ourselves. Alice has already passed away. <gasps> if that's Damn. true, then Karin used the red strings as soon as he found out about her death. Which means my brother is after... Well, no one we see him. There's no doubt that he's here. Yeah, he's trying to save everyone Alice. Has a lot we of questions, picked that much but up. But don't duh. forget what we came here to do. We're here to get his help. Like, stop dancing around it. You know what his goal is. <laughs> they do that in, like, anime shit all the time. And it kind of bugs me, but... Here we go. Where are you going, Yuido? He's just like, ah, I don't want to fight that one anymore, so I'm gonna combo this direction. Those animations are pretty brutal sometimes, you know? <laughs> like, damn. Rip that thing straight from its, like, spinal cord, it almost looks like. Brutal. 
Okay, so if we do our L3 thing in one of our next fights, right now with this active. We'll wait until someone big comes along. But I'm gonna try this. Ooh, I don't have much longer in my brain drive. Bro, fucking hit the guy. I'm gonna run out of time. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Well, maybe not. Oh my god, Yuido, you dumbass. Where are you even going? Leave it to me. So this should be a free one, technically, because I activated it while I was in the brain drive. Come on, come on, get it together. Go, go, go. Take this guy out now. Where's my timer at? Okay, um, it looks like it's grayed out now, but where was that, anyway? If there is a brain field ready icon displayed, a brain field can be activated without consuming a charge when activated during brain drive, which is what we did. Now the L3R3 seems like it's grayed out, but let's see what it looks like when we go into the next fight. Maybe that, because that should have been free. Maybe I'm misunderstanding it though. Can we get in the next? Oh, no, it's still active. See? Okay, it did work. Okay. Cool. That's really cool, actually. So, does all this transfer over into Kasani's route when we do the new game plus? I think it does. So, like, we're gonna breeze through the game when we get to that one. Do you need help? Hey! Here we go! I hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. I'm watching out for you. Here we go! Did that not even hit him? Leave it to me! Stay. 
This is so OP now that we can't even get hurt. So OP. Okay, now we will have to charge it back up. Watch, the next room's gonna be a boss fight. <laughs> like a proper one. Memories of Impasse. Okay. save her again this history is unnecessary if our habaki was right i can just start over from the beginning again as many times as i need to use the red strings for alice what was that it's like karen's thoughts were inside my head and so kasane was there time was to save alice so did that also happen in her timeline that we didn't see? I guess that was around the same the time that they were just talking about, but like I don't know, it's kind of frustrating that we didn't get to see any of that in this uh walkthrough. It seems like it's integral and important. Um that's kind of frustrating. Um personally, I don't like the way that that's done. Like I get it they wanted two different walk uh, two different playthroughs, but um, they needed to find a way to make them both feel more complete. This feels, well, it, obviously it just, it frustrates me, so it's not super satisfying. I'm just sitting here like, damn, well, I wish I would have seen how that happened. Um, we will, but I don't know. Uh, uh, minor gripe, minor gripe. This game is fun as hell, but some of the writing choices, a little bit odd in my opinion. What does he mean by as many times as he needs to? And he mentions something about Arahabaki. Right. Even if he goes back to change the past, it doesn't necessarily mean Alice will be saved. The future is always uncertain. Once he determines he can't save her, he goes back to the past to change history all over again and repeats the process. So he's going to keep jumping through time until Aunt Alice is saved? Wait. He time traveled after that, right? But Alice is still dead at this time. He went back to the past, but history hasn't changed, so he failed? I've never seen my brother like that before. Do you think he'll listen to us? Either way, he's our only lead. We have to get him to cooperate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me. I'm going to get stronger. It was nothing. Come on. Here we go. That attack worked. That must be a weak spot. Next. I must train more. Oh, my God. 
God, this combat system is very good. I hope they. I. I. I really do hope they. Uh, do make a sequel or. Uh, at the very least, even if this story ends up being complete, some kind of like spiritual successor doesn't even necessarily have to be the same world or anything. But like the battle system, very good. And is this supposedly the same team that uh, is doing Tales of Arise, or are they different teams? I know that they're both Bandai Namco, I don't know if it's the same team that does Tales of games, but if so, this bodes really well well for the battle system in Tales of. Um, the one Tales of... No, I've played two Tales of games. I've played a little bit of Berseria and um, Vesperia. I played all of Vesperia. Fun battle systems, not exactly my favorite battle systems, but entertaining nonetheless. So, But like this, top tier, man. I wish Tales of games weren't instanced battles. I wish they were more free open world like this and kind of like East does, but small complaint, um, it's still very fun, so. Damn, he went down below ground. Where are you, bro? Get out here. Looks like the enemy lost us. Oh my god. Fuck these guys. Get out of the way. Here we go. I hate getting my clothes wet. That attack worked. There must be a weak spot. Watch the enemy. This is a mess. That was definitely a tough setup. Whew. Got through it though. Okay.
my first and last letter. We just got a message from somebody. From the archivist. My orders were to archive memories, so I never thought about their contents. It will be the same going forward. It's not that I don't feel anything, though. You never stopped in the face of any difficulty. And that's why we're here now. I wanted to tell you that. I archive all the history that you built. When the day comes that we look back on this... No, that's enough. Your history will continue on. I'm sure the archiving won't end. Is this like a weird way of them telling me that the boss fight is in the next room? Like, are we at the end here? Mm, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Looks like it continues on afterwards. It's just going to be another big fight over here. Um, we're nowhere near a brain drive, so we won't get a free thing here, but we might be using our, our L3-R3 in this fight. see me bro okay he actually couldn't for a second I thought he was chasing me Seems like he's not breaking like hardly at all, doesn't it? Don't get caught. Now done. That did a lot. Here we go. Do it. Here we go. Where are you? My teleport was still active, bro. What was that? Up, asshole. I mean, this is what's right. I guess someone more mature needs to step in. I mean, this is what's right. Oh. 
be a weak spot. Hell yeah, that did so much. So I'm guessing if you do that when he's also shocked already, it does like a hell of a lot more on that charge. Damn, that was awesome. That fight felt good. Woo, baby. All right. Our L3R3 thing is charged again. You gonna pick that up? There we go. <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to have to use a refueling thing. Okay, the Millennium Hall. Hmm, I wonder if I need to save this for the next episode. Um, I'm guessing there might only be one more left, so uh, yeah, we're going to end things here. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, and Anur. If you also would like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you.